now we're going to take a look at marketing lists and campaigns. So to start it off, we're going to look at the list. And the marketing list is a saved list of recipients that is used during the marketing campaigns and also can be used for mass emails. These lists can be dynamic, where they're based on selection criteria, or they can be self-managed. So if you look at the selection criteria here, you can see this one has this criteria that will only uh, give us the list of emails for leads within the last month. So this is going to change as time goes on. The self-managed list is a static list where you need to go in and change it manually when you want to add or delete people. So if we flip over to list members, we're going to see that our new Jeff White is now included because he was created in the last 30 days. And so he would be included in any correspondence based on this marketing list. All right, so the next topic in marketing are mass emails. You can use mass emails to communicate with marketing lists that we just saw. So if we take a look at this one that's set up in here, we can set different sources to be used for these emails, like we talked about, marketing lists, um, campaigns, and you can also just choose all of your leads, all of your contacts, if that's who you need to add there. Um, you can set a plan date, the status, whether it's on hold or whether it's prepared and ready to go, or it will change to sent once you have sent out the email. You include the body, which can include fields from Acumatica. So you can see display name. It's going to fill in that specific information based on each email address. And then the marketing list is going to show you, okay, we're using the new leads marketing list to send this mass email. And then you have the capability, once you have it all set up, to test the message, and then you would hit send to send it out to all the recipients. Additionally, you can set up marketing campaigns. So we're going to take a look at this upgrade campaign. Within the campaign, you can see you can set campaign classes, and each campaign class can have a list of attributes that you can use for more detailed reporting. So it's a list of additional information that you want to track based on which class the campaign is in. The stage, again, just lets you know if it's active, if you're still setting it up and planning it, or if it's been completed. On, down here on the campaign details, you can enter budgets, you can enter expected returns, you can associate a promo code to your ca campaign. And then on the right, you're going to see actual statistics from this campaign. So it's going to show you how many people you originally sent this to, if any leads have been generated, opportunities that are linked to it, and then one opportunities that are linked, in addition to dollar amounts associated with those opportunities. So you can track how your campaign is affecting your business. If we flip over to the Members tab, um, here you can manage the list for the campaigns. Obviously, we've seen the setup of marketing lists, so that can be used. You can set it up manually by just adding members. And you have this capability to add new members. This is where you could use an actual report where it's a, a defined list based on criteria or a marketing list within the screen. You have some different options to load a, a long list of emails at one time. And then we see, we saw the, the metrics on the first screen, but here we see an actual list of the leads, and you can drill into those uh, that were created based on this campaign, as well as opportunities. Same thing, you can drill down and see what those were that were associated with that campaign. Um, 